My name is Jacob Hyam. The Jacob Hyam? I imagine you much taller. So did I. Yeah. It's weird because people who were survivors who've read the script said, please don't be afraid of the humor. They knew what happened. Do you have anything to keep my hair from falling out? How long have we been friends? What does it have to do with my hair falling out? You have the green stuff you used to rub on stack tissues here? It's never demanding. You come here every morning for a free shave and you never said anything about a radio. What radio? I have as many radios as I have potatoes. Oh, everybody knows that you've got a radio. Jack, hmm? is it true you've got a radio? Not you too. It's the little things, and especially in the ghetto, and especially during that time, little moments of human kindness. The guard is coming. Oh. oh. Maybe I'll take one of those Germans with me. Don't. The Russians are at Pizanica. I heard it on the radio. This goes back and forth between being very funny and very tragic within moments. But if I see you get up, the radio goes right off. Hmm? Hey, all right, now I turn it on. It takes just a few moments for the tubes to heat up and... Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Just uh, between you and me, and Rosa and Mrs. Frankfurter and... Hello. Hi. Jacob Hyman's got a radio. This is the BBC in London. Tonight, we have a special guest, the very honorable Winston Churchill, who is just now coming into the studio, putting out his cigar. It is a story about the strength of hope. It turns your soul in another direction. It gives you strength. It's a wonderful medicine you have, Jacob. I admire what you're doing. I really do. So what's new? Yesterday, Churchill addressed the Polish people. The Polish? You want the latest news or don't you? Shh. Horrible words. Shards of the tiniest thing meant the world. Misha, can he get the BBC? Huh? BBC? Huh? Of course. The minute that there is some hope, there is some sense of a future, everybody begins to live ten times the normal amount that they would normally live. A kiss between Misha and Rosa, it's like... Love in the face of that is powerful stuff. Are they fighting? Oh, no. Looks like Misha thinks the war is over. He's trying to get her to go up to his apartment. Doesn't she want to go? Very much. Then why doesn't she go? Well, you'll discover these things when you're older. When? No more questions. Mm. Yeah. That little piece of information that Jacob has prompts hope, prompts love, prompts Misha and I to get together. I am here to ask for the hand of your daughter. <sighs> Since Mr. Hyam has accepted to share his information with us, there has not been a single case of suicide in the entire ghetto. After all, he... When you have this, what you call ensemble, it means that every character has to have the look, the psychological character. They must exist from the first uh, glance for the first word. They're sending tanks. Tanks? Right off the boat from Chicago. Chicago? Yes. How, <laughs> how could you tell they were American tanks? Well, you, you get to know the difference. You know, American tanks, it's a different noise entirely. What kind of noise? Clean. Yeah, you can hear the your horns. On the tank? No, the band. The band? The jazz band. Jazz band? They sent a jazz band to cheer up their allies. The saxophone? Clarinet. <laughs> Sounds like Benny Goodman. <laughs> <laughs> Who else in the world could do this? When I read it, I thought, truly, they invented this for Robin, but it's in the book. It was written by Yurik Becker, you know, dozens and dozens of years ago. Mr. Churchill, if we only have a little bit of time, I would like you to bring us up to date on the events around Bezanica. I'd be delighted. That is my area of expert. <laughs> and Hannah, she's extraordinary. She's 10 or 11, but she's also 30. The Russians aren't coming, are they? Yes, they are. The whole battalion now. Stay from Moscow with tanks and a big band. Is that another lie? Mark! The moment you put on the, the coat with the star, there's a certain gravity to that. These pants are old, I don't know, 40, 50 years old. 
the coat is 50 years old, I mean, the, the hat is old, everything you put on, it's not a costume anymore, it becomes your clothes and it has a power and a gravity. There are informers in the ghetto, desperate people who will do anything for a few potatoes. Therefore, I beg you as a father and a husband, please destroy that radio before the Germans find out about it. Hey, do you hear me? We have information. The Russians are almost here. It was a very intimate portrayal of life in the face of death. It's going to be a massacre, all because these Jews believe the drag I feed them. But you started this, and now, you have to go on. Let's only hope that your lies were true. It's about survival under impossible conditions, of finding humor in impossible conditions, finding love under impossible conditions. I want to listen to the radio. Please, Jacob, I have to know what's taking them so long. I have to make my wedding plans. Working, living, loving, under these incredibly cruel conditions. They still carried on.